I, hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am not in my normal location. Uh, because hopefully this is the first of a few different birthday celebration videos uh, that I hope to be able to make. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll see, but I'm getting ready to go. I am, my first birthday celebration is book shopping. I know a very big shock that I would want to go book shopping, but I get to go shopping with Gina Stanier. I'm so excited. We are going to a bookstore that she uh, knows about and is one that has a lot of apparently used books and has a lot of stacks. But Gina wanted to get me a book for my birthday and this is what we came up with. So this is my first birthday celebration. Hopefully I will show you some footage of the actual bookstore and then what I end up getting. So let's get going. All right. First, I am prepared with my handy dandy book bag. When I am not reading, I am up to no good. My friend Sonia made this for the Up to No Good Book Club and I am taking it with me today. We're here. Tacoma Book Center. Hi. Hi. I'm J.D. Robb, that's funny. I love J.D. Robb. fascinated by it, like how, how they know what they have, or do they just not know? Is this your section? They have like a seven of the book, one of the books you gave me. <laughs> of this one. Gina gave me this book. <laughs> no joke, seven. <laughs> you can get a really big copy of Les Miserables. That's a brick. Oh, gosh. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Off to the right. Okay. Try not to fall down the stairs. Don't fall down the stairs. All right, so I'm actually back home now. Uh, I have been home for a few hours. Um, we went to, actually, Jean and I ended up going to a second bookstore, and then we went to lunch, and we had a lovely Aperol spritz, and then I came home and was like, a nap sounds good now. <laughs> so it's been a few hours since I've been home, but I thought I would share with you uh, what I actually ended up getting. And so it's kind of a weird, random mix of books. I didn't buy much at the second bookstore, there was only one book, but you can see here, I have my up to no good bag um, that has a large amount of stuff in it. So let's just unpack and see what's in here. Um, and so the first book, I did try and focus on books that are on my thousand and one list. So that is largely what you'll see today. And the first one is this lovely one, George Eliot, The Mill on the Floss. Uh, this one, I can't remember, this is a every man's library edition. It is pristine and it is one that's on my list. And so I have read two other George Eliot so far and really wanted to read a third one. A bookstore that we went to, as you saw from all the clips, had a large amount of books. So it's sometimes hard to find things. Um, but yeah, I did come across this absolutely gorgeous, um, abs pristine version of Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. So I thought that one was a really good one to pick up. Let's see, I won't look even. We'll just peer in here. Okay, so the next one is really pretty. Um, I love this copy of this book. Do you know what book this is? Probably not yet, but it is um, Balzac's Père 
Oh, I don't even know how to say the name. Oh my goodness, I'm such a bad booktuber. It is Balzac. Um, Pierre Goriot, I don't know how you say that. So interesting, but this one is just really pretty as well, which is why I ended up picking it up. I wanted a pretty kind of spine to put on my shelves. Um, it, again, it is on the 1001 book list. These are, this one is just one of the really pretty ones that I ended up buying. Um, so yeah, just a really pretty end on it. And uh, yeah, I just liked the the book so yeah but it is also on the book a thousand one book list yeah all of these are I'm gonna stop saying that now okay so the next book I actually got at the second bookstore and I I got this one because I know I need to read uh, one at least one of this author's books they've had book they have several books on the list and I haven't read a one yet uh, and I have seen this one a little bit on book two but it is the Mid or Midnight's Children by Solomon Rushdie uh, so yeah I, I think I had started trying to read one of uh, his books at one point and put it down, but this one was very inexpensive at five whole dollars, and so I went ahead and picked it up and thought maybe next year I'll actually read it. That's why I build my TBR next year. I go through, or for the next year, I go through all the books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read yet that are on the 1001 book list. So we'll see. So these probably will make an appearance again. All right, so the next book is Milan Kundera, The Book of Laughter and Forgetting. And so the back of this one says, the Book of Laughter and Forgetting calls itself a novel, although it is part fairy tale, part literary criticism, part political tract, part musicology, and part autobiography. I can call itself, it can call itself whatever it wants to because the whole is genius. All right then. I read one other book um, by this author, which was The Joke, and then I have The Unbearable Lightness of Being on my shelf. I would like to read fairly soon, but yeah, I picked up this one because it's also very short and it has that really cool orange spine, the penguin spine, which I wanted to, I wanted to pick up some. I was thinking about books that would look pretty on my shelf, but also books that I wanted to read. So, all right, so the next one is The Music of Chance by Paul Oster, Oster, I'm not sure how you say his last name, and then this one says, in a Pennsylvania meadow, a young fireman and an angry gambler are forced to build a wall of 15th century stone. For Jim Nash, it all started when he came into a small inheritance and left Boston in pursuit of a life of freedom. Careening back and forth across the United States, waiting for the money to run out, Nash met Jack Pawsey, a young man with a temper and a plan. With Nash's last funds, they enter a poker game against two rich eccentrics, risking everything on the single blind turn of a card. All right then. <laughs> so I've read um, several books by Paul Auster. You'd think I would know how to say his name by now. I've read Mr. Vertigo and I read, oh gosh, I can't remember which other ones I've read, but I've read several by him and happened to see this one. And it was small, again, fairly short, and another orange, orange spine penguin one. All right, so the next one is... Okay, this one is Gr The Green Man by Kingsley Amos. I have not read any Kingsley Amos yet. I do know that Lucky Jim is probably one that's a little bit more well-known than this one, um, but I saw they didn't have Lucky Jim. They had this one. And so this one says, a splendid chiller in an uncomplicated old fashioned sense, as one might expect from the author of Lucky Jim, The Green Man is also an extremely funny book filled with slapstick, parody, and satire. Indeed, the success of this short novel depends very much on the balance that Amos maintains between laughter and fear. Ooh, so yeah, The Green Man. And then I have, under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. So I have read uh, Into Thin Air, Into the Wild by Krakauer. I've also, um, yes, those two. I don't think I've read another one. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, so I wanted to read Under the Banner of Heaven because I know that there's a series coming out and I really wanted to watch, uh, watch the series. So I wanted to read the book first, but Under the Banner of Heaven. And one more book in here. Oh, so this one was a gift. <laughs> I didn't get this one. Gina gave me this one, um, which is Herman Hesse, Siddhartha. So this one is very small. Uh, this one is a good candidate for uh, just a quick a quick little read. Uh, but yeah, she gave me this one. She had shared a big stack of books she was unhauling, and I said, I need that one. So yeah, she gave me this one. And then I got one book in the mail today. Oh, and this one's a heavy book. Uh, I will not be reading this anytime soon, but I've been reading the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas by Gertrude Stein, and this book comes up in that many, many times because it is 
The Making of Americans uh, by Gertrude Stein. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really wanted to have this one sitting on my shelf that I could read fairly soon. Well, fairly soon. I'm not reading this soon because look at this monster. It is 900 plus pages again. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I keep picking up the biggest books that are on the list. But yeah, this one is on the list. I got this one through Thrift Books, actually. So if you're not familiar with Thrift Books, they are a discount books online bookseller. And you can go get books out there if you're not picky about quality. Sometimes I get them and then there's highlighting in them that they didn't say there was highlighting. So you do have to be a little careful. I did try really hard to flip through these books before I bought them today. So I didn't pick up one that had a lot of markings in it. But I think it was pretty successful. So here's the first one, The Making of Americans by Gertrude Stein. We have Under the Banner of Heaven. We have The Green Man. We have, uh, I forgot the name of that one, The Music of Chance. <laughs> okay. And then we have The Book of Laughter and Forgetting. We have Midnight's Children. Ooh. We have the Balzac book. Oh my goodness. We have X, ah, the George Eliot, Mill on the Floss. And then the last one I had to save for last because it's so small, Siddhartha. And so that is my book haul for my uh, birthday, my first birthday. So thank you so much, Gina, for going with me and buying me more than one book, which you, you didn't need to do. I just had so happy I got to, oops. So happy I got to go spend the day with Gina. Um, so, but it was very, very sweet that she bought me several books. Um, and I had just a lovely time. My birthday's not until the end of the month and I have a few things planned. So this was just one of them. Uh, and it was a great way to kick off like three weeks of birthdays. If you're not, if you're not aware, it is my 50th birthday this year, which is why I have way more birthday stuff than I would ever normally have on my channel. So um, yeah, so expect to hopefully a few more things in the upcoming, weeks. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> so all kinds of 50 themed things, hopefully, um, are coming up. So that's all I have for you. Just a fun day, a fun bookstore, a really big bookstore and some fun books, some big books that I get to now go put on my beautiful bookshelves. And, uh, but as always like comment and subscribe and until next time, everyone. Thanks. Bye.